Massachusetts is one of the states that Vice President Harris won easily. As WBZ's Penny Commit shows us, Harris supporters like Boston Mayor Michelle Wu are trying to reassure voters who may not be happy about Trump's win. I hope everyone got more sleep than I did. During a playground ribbon-cutting ceremony at James J. Chittick Elementary School, Boston Mayor Michelle Wu offered a sense of comfort to Bostonians who may not be satisfied with the recent presidential election results. It was never going to change, no matter the outcome of the elections, what we're doing here in the city of Boston. In addition to yesterday's presidential race, its voters made their voices heard on a number of topics that will affect Bostonians. Most notably, a highly contested measure to drop the MCAS as a high school graduation requirement that won by over half a million votes. My kids are in the public schools too and I, so, I know that we've been more and more moving towards MAP, for example, and some other kinds of more holistic assessments anyway. Another intensely debated question, if tipped workers should be paid a minimum wage, that measure was voted down. We just want to let everyone know we won and we won big. Very happy to be here and very proud to be part of this joint effort to defeat this ill-conceived plan from a group of activists from California. Voters also voted no on question four, which if passed would have legalized certain psychedelics in Massachusetts. And two thirds of voters voted a measure giving the state auditor the power to audit the state legislature. And while it's not yet final, it appears that question three would allow drivers for companies like Lyft or Uber to unionize will also pass. In Boston, I'm Penny Commit, WBZ News.